Hi YouTube friends, welcome back to my channel. I thought I would start the uh, vlog with a little bit of video of my rabbits. Um, I have them back in their um, cages and uh, the brown one is a uh, pumpernickel and he's pretty big, he's a pretty big rabbit. Pumpernickel and the white one is um, mayonnaise or mayo for short. And um, <clears throat> I have to keep them separated. Um, yeah, I have to keep them separated. And they like, rabbits like um, little boxes where they can hide in. So they each have their own box. And then um, um, the litter boxes, I put either, either the wood chips or the, um, the paper shredded. It's bedding for rabbits. It's like a just shredded paper bedding and um, I think um, from now on I'm gonna just stick to the um, paper shredded bedding because um, well when they you know when they urinate um, the bedding uh, it clumps together better and versus the uh, wood chips that kind of just go all over the place so um yeah so this is where i keep them and i spent a couple hours yesterday just cleaning up this whole area um it was it was um you know really in in need of some <laughs> maintenance raking and whatnot and um dice dice stop that so um yeah so that's what i thought i would <laughs> start off sharing they're hungry i need to get some um cilantro that i have for them inside the house so then the other thing is just looking at the backyard um that corner over there is where um lydia is going to be putting her tiny house and she uh she came to me earlier today and told me that she is going to go ahead and move forward with her plans to buy the tiny house but um she's going for a less expensive model because the model that she really fell in love with she had her heart set on it was quite expensive it was um gonna cost her eighty two thousand dollars for a tiny house 10 by uh 10 by 24 10 by 24 um tiny house um but it was like like um with all the bells and whistles like amish built in uh in tennessee so anyway so she uh is going to pick another model and the the uh, price range is like between 35 and 40 thousand it's it's a smaller one but it's still very nice so she's going to go ahead and move forward with that so eventually at some point the tiny house will be um back there in that corner over there and so um yeah so i wanted to share that update and then um uh today i went to winco this oh i wanted to share this too i brought this out because you know i said that my content would have a little bit to do with um, cleaning and organizing and um, motivation so I came up with this uh, this is my weekly cleaning schedule and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't work it just depends on God how how motivated I am in the moment or the day but anyways this is kind of how I broke it down so I, I, I should have put Saturday over here on this end because it's really Monday through Saturday. So these are the things that I do every day. You know, I do these things every day. You can see what those are. And then in addition to those every day, I do these. Plus on Monday, I do these um, chores. And then I, on Tuesday, I do these and then laundry. And then on Wednesday, I do these and then... Um, I clean my freezer and my pantry so I I do that and then well if I have the the energy I actually added this too so so it's so th there's these additional things that need to be done so I kind of rotate these four two by two so in other words every day I do these plus Monday and then these first two 
these first two chores, vacuum and take out the trash. And then, and then the next day I do my daily chores plus laundry on Tuesday. And then I rotate and I clean the microwave and the playroom that I have. So, I mean, like I said, it's, you know, it's kind of a hit and a miss. I actually broke it down for, um, like, Saturday chores, you know, windows and screens, baseboards, walls, and two rooms, and hose down the um, sidewalk in the front and, and my backyard area, and um, I try to look for a space that needs kind of like a bit of a, more of a, a, a detail clean, and then I just clean whatever that, what whatever wherever the mess is, where, wherever the detail clean needs to be done. Like this, for example, yesterday, I did like those things, you know, and then I did, I, I cleaned um, my whole uh, bunny um, hutch where I keep all my bunny supplies and my rabbits and all that. So anyways, yeah, I just thought I would share that. I know, it's kind of crazy, but you know, you... <laughs> I don't know. It's almost like you just have to embrace housework because it's never going to go away. And at this point, I mean, I've come to the conclusion that you just got to kind of embrace it. If you can find, if you can find it in yourself to embrace it, that's what I try to do. Oh, and then the last thing to show before I close my vlog is how it has to do with some more um, of my Thanksgiving um, decorations because I forgot to show just a couple of things. Um, so, um, this is the only thing that I really have on my table here in the living room, which is just, um, just a, a charger plate with this glass pumpkin that I've had a couple of years. And then um, I found these pewter um, candlestick holders at uh, the Goodwill. And then the greenery, I did I did get the greenery this year at uh, uh, the Hobby Lobby. So, yeah, I picked up the greenery. So, gee, it looks like my... Oh, there it goes. Sorry about that. Anyway, so, yeah, so that's just the uh, table setting. And then... Um, the other thing um, I wanted to kind of share was this, uh, I found this several years ago, secondhand, at a secondhand store, and um, it's different, it's a, it's a center, you know, it's for a table, like for a centerpiece, and it's a pilgrim, and she's sitting on a giant turkey. Oh, now I found this at the, I found it at the Goodwill, but on the bottom, it has the label that it came from the store Big Lots, which I don't know what the original price was because the price part of the um, price tag is worn off. So anyway, so then I just set it, I just um, put it inside this um, dish with little lights and then I had this little green this little um, fall color um, you know artificial stuff so yeah and then um, um, like I said you know um, I'm, I'm trying to get more into like um, minimalism so <laughs> but I still like to decorate so I told myself that it's okay that I could have a minimum of four seasonal mugs for the fall so I wanted to show show them to you. See, but I, I told myself not more than four. So, and they're all secondhand. They're all from thrift stores. This one I've had for a very long time. I always like the, um, the patchwork. It looks like a quilt. And then it's got the colors of fall. So, um, and then um, this one, it's brown inside. And it's... Um, it says on the cup, it says, begin each day with thanks. So this is a real pretty one too. I really like it. I've had this one for a very long time too. Now this one, I got this one like two years ago. And I know this one is from the um, 
either the 99 cent store or um, the Dollar Tree because I've seen them before. I've seen them on YouTube videos, you know, the women that do the the hauls, the Dollar Tree hauls. So, but I mean, it says fall, y'all, and it's got that teal blue on the inside. And then this one I found just a couple of days ago, and I thought this was so cute, and it reminded me of my daughter, Helena, because it's a girl, and she has a coffee, and Helena drinks coffee. And Helena used to have a little puppy, Dotson, but he got sick and died. We only had him for like 26 days, and he was a puppy, and we had him for 26 days, and he um, he got sick, and we had to put him we had to put him down. So, anyways, and then it's got the fall, the trees, you know. <laughs> I always thought, I mean, I, I I thought this was so cute too, and I told her, oh, I told her that I got it for her, and she really liked it a lot. So you can, so what I'm saying is, you can still. You know do a little bit of what you like to do what kind of you you know what's your thing that you like to do that kind of gives you a little pleasure and joy you know you can still do it but you just do it um, just you know minimally just a little bit and then the, the last thing is I wanted to show you these I found these years ago at a thrift store and they're pins you see they're they're pins I think they're from Avon let me see no, it says Hallmark. That little tiny print there says Hallmark. So there's this um, tiger for Valentine's Day. And then there's this little mouse for uh, St. Patrick's Day. And then there was this rabbit for Easter. The little, the little bunny rabbit for Easter. And, the, and these, they're pins. See, they're pins. I know they're for, they were for little children. This is probably from the 80s, maybe? The 80s? And then this this little one is so cute. He's a little uh, squirrel. So what I did, though, was I put these this magnet right behind it, and then this is what I did with it. I want you to see the refrigerator. Uh, yeah. This is my um, my refrigerator. I don't know why, but I like to <laughs> decorate my refrigerator, um, you know, for the holidays. So the, I have a collection, and it, they're all from thrift stores. So I like this scarecrow. This I found. This I found not that long ago, as a matter of fact. Um, and then this is a Thanksgiving card that we got in the mail a couple days ago from my dad and Irene, and they're out in uh, Rio Rancho, New Mexico. And then this turkey magnet, this turkey with the pumpkins, and then another turkey. And, oh, this was a set that I found all together in the packaging. Um, a squirrel, the leaf, and then the acorn. See that? Huh. And then these two, this wood, pumpkin wood, and then this cute scarecrow. And then this is kind of funny, but this is a letter I got in the mail, I don't know, like a week ago maybe? And it's from this random realtor, and the thing is I've been getting like letters and text messages and phone calls, and I even got a knock on my front door like four or five days ago. And they're realtors, and they are um, talking about that they that they saw that my house was up for sale last year and they want to know you know what happened why didn't the house sell and is there something they can do to help you sell your house anyway i've been getting a lot of those inquiries and i got this letter uh a week ago and the only reason why it's on my refrigerator is because i like that it's um got the theme for thanksgiving that's the only reason why. All right, you guys, I'm going to cut out now. I, maybe I'll make a video tomorrow. I'm going to be meeting Robert Kennedy Jr. on Sunday, so I am going to really try to do a video for that. All right, bye, you guys. Take care. Bye now.